Utah goes 49 two plus in every rotation 197.075 best score of the year so far for the Red Rocks it's bound to get even better than that the meat of the week presented by Pacific Premier Bank was Utah and Arizona and the Jim Cats come in with 15 freshmen and sophomores including Jessica Castles who went 9-9 on the beam it was impressive along with this triple wolf turn but the pressure was on they had already had a fall in the lineup and they needed her to hit and it was just about perfect. Great moment for the freshman from England. For Utah, they started out on the vault. Couple of nine nines, Kemi Hall got them rolling. Yurchenko, one and a half twist. That starts from a 10.0. They put up four one and a halves in this rotation. And right after her came Alexia Birch. Last week she sat this vault down. Well, there was no question she was sitting it down today. So they shared the win. And for Kemi Hall, it's her second straight win on that event. Uneven bars, Miley O'Keefe. A season high 9-9. Well, she has stunning skills, beautiful form, release combination, down to the low bar, and a unique double radiant dismount. It can be hard to land, but not today. She nailed it. Over to the balance beam. Another unique tumbling series there. That side aerial to lay out step out. And then finished it up, holding on by her toes there on that dismount and sticking the full twist. So O'Keefe shares the beam title with Castles, and that's the third straight win on beam for Miley O'Keefe. And then the meet closed out. Sydney Soloski on the floor, 9925. Always so fun to watch. She opened that routine with a double layout. She had new floor music. Always a great performer and a great way to finish out the meet. Amanda for John Court. He's got all these young athletes, 15 freshmen and sophomores. I think he goes home happy. He has to be very excited. They had some mistakes, but they can go back, they can train harder, and make those improvements needed. And for Utah, O'Keefe now has six wins in three meets. Utah's four and one. They're at Washington next week.